Eggs, they're a great cost-effective way to get more nutrition into your family meals. I've got two great recipes for you today. One's a little bit more sophisticated, Chinese steamed eggs. It's got a silky texture and a lovely umami packed flavour. The other is going to be a great side for your steak night and it's got a great little cheat in there which I can't wait to show you. But first we'll get started with the steamed Chinese eggs. I've got eight eggs in here. Don't worry too much if you have eggshell in here because we're going to strain it. For eight eggs, I've got 800 ml of stock. Because it has got a little bit of warmth to it, I'm going to keep whisking the eggs just so we don't have any pockets of pre-cooked egg. When you're working with simple ingredients, you can't hide the flavour, it's got to be bang on. And you can only really get that with pasture free range eggs like these golden eggs. And we're going to strain them into these bowls. I've chosen these bowls because they're not too deep, but they'll protect you if you're steaming in water. We're going to steam these for 15 minutes. the test, the wobble. We've got good wobble here. What we want to do now is make little diamonds with a sharp knife and this will let the flavour permeate. Now for the dressing, we're going to use soy sauce with a little bit of sesame oil and just a touch of sweetener. You can use sugar, but I've used maple syrup because then I don't have to dissolve the sugar down. we're looking for a bit of crunch. This is fried shallot and chives, fresh chives. Now these are totally perfect without spice, but if you are looking for a little bit of a heat factor, chili oil. And you can just finish these off with a bit of spring onion. And how good do they look? Chinese steamed eggs, it doesn't get easier than that. But that's just the first dish. Now we're on to the next one. We've got our cheats potato frittata, eight eggs, and we're going to mix in a cup and a half of sour cream. And here comes the cheat part. We've got some pre-prepared crisps. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but eggs are actually classified as a superfood. So life is all about balance with this dish, and we're always in a rush, so I'm okay with it on this occasion. I'm going to add a little bit of chives and we're going to fold these through and let it set for about 10 minutes. All right, so that's coated beautifully. We'll pop that aside and start with our onions. I love supporting family-owned businesses and Golden Eggs has been operating since 1946, employing over 200 West Aussies. Okay, we've got some great colour on that onion and we're going to pour our chip mix over the top. Nice high heat in this pan too because this is a lot of cold liquid and we really want to get a nice edge on it before we put it into the oven. Got to be happy with that and so easy. We're just going to add a little bit of sour cream and extra chives. Here's just two ways to enjoy West Australian golden eggs. Give it a try. I promise you won't be disappointed.